The 1980s begin with gas at around 32 cents a liter and the birth of the IBM PC. Durham has 366 police officers and a food bank that opens in Scugog Township expects to be serving about 50 or more low-income families. The Looney appears by 1987. John Howard Society saw sweeping expansion in the 80s. With an increase in programming and staff, it's necessary to move to a new, larger office at 94 Bruce Street in Oshawa in 1981. New programs come online, such as bail supervision, adult literacy to help with basic reading, writing, and math skills, and a support program for families of incarcerated persons called Wives, Families, and Friends. By 1983, clients are now coming from a wider geography, and we change our name to the John Howard Society of Oshawa Whippy Newcastle. But just a year later, after opening an office in Ajax, our name changes one last time to become the John Howard Society of Durham Region. By 1985, we have 2,400 clients, and we open a Whitby residence for young males with six beds. In 86, the Clarington office opens, and in 87, when a fire strikes next door to our main office in Oshawa, the community comes to our aid to help with alternative temporary space, office resources, and our services are back up and running within 24 hours. By the end of the decade, the organization has now added the Access to Housing program and carries a budget of just over $400,000. By 1990, Durham Region's population has topped 400,000, and with the 416 area code numbers running out, the 905 is introduced. Sunday shopping and junior kindergarten become a reality, the Toonie is introduced, Blue Heron Casino is built, and York and Durham Region begin sharing a police helicopter. And partway through the 90s, 1.3 million people are reliant upon social services. At this time, John Howard Society opens a second residence in Oshawa with four beds for males and four for females. An addictions counseling program begins and in the first month already has 36 new clients. Due to the expansion of programming and staff, the main office has to move again, this time to 492 Simcoe Street South, our first purchased office space. Employment services such as Futures and Jobs for Youth Ontario are now well underway, and a new service called RAPREC offers youth social skills development, pardons applications assistance is provided, and a Dads Aiming for Direction and Support program begins when a single father approaches GHS looking for support and finding no such model in the community. The agency creates a structured support to fill a gap in service. The agency takes on a controversial program called Project Exchange, a harm reduction concept that provides free, anonymous needle exchange to persons battling addiction. And in 1997, the Firehouse Youth Centre opens at 132 Church Street. At the end of the 90s, the agency has 46 staff and has a budget of over $600,000.